guy got all offended said you know you're encouraging people to stay away from white people <laughs> i said i didn't encourage people to stay away from white people i say minimize your exposure to white boys in tech that's not all white people that's minimize the people who listen to me know exactly who i'm referring to when i say stay the fuck away from keep your money away from white boys right why Oh, TJ is just being a racist. TJ is being a racist. What, do, what does that say? 91% of hackers are male. 65, which that number is actually higher. 65% of them are white. Right? So, chances are, if you're going to get hacked, chances are, if somebody's going to steal from you, chances are, it's going to be a white male or an Asian. These are the two groups that make up these crimes. Now, here's something that's also interesting about, the, about this statistic right here. Is these two groups represent the least amount of people that are in prison. So not only are they, they committing these horrendous crimes, white cops are show zero interest in prosecuting them. You see how I connected that little thesis together right there? You see that? See, for those of you who are out there or who are trying to get a, a topic for your thesis, right, for your master's degree, I gave it to you. Those out there who, who are working on your dissertation, I gave it to you. I just gave it to you. You have it. You don't have to research any further than what I've already given you. There it goes. That all of them, all of them right there, this is the group that's doing it, right? So when you look at the majority of African-Americans are in jail for dumb shit, it shows how aggressively we are policed, right? And it shows how passive white boys are treated whenever they commit a crime. Don't you ever in, in, in this, don't you ever believe that blank people are actually committing more crimes than white people? The crimes of white people are not even being prosecuted. How are they going to go to jail for it if they're not even prosecuted, if they're not even arrested for it? I'm showing you right here. And here's the other part of it, guys. White boys steal more than any other race of people. They, the amount of money that they're stealing, right? They steal more than any other race of people. And they're not even prosecuted for it. Don't believe, don't believe my stats. Go check it out for yourself. Go read it for yourself. Go read how many of them are actually prosecuted for the crimes that they're committing. And you're going to be astonished. You're going to be absolutely astonished to find out that it's hardly zero. It's damn near zero. And the amount of them who are actually being prosecuted, which means that, that the Justice Department, the local police, all of this shit about we're tough on crime, all of that is bullshit. They're tough on your black ass. They're tough on your Latino ass. But when it comes to white boys, there you go. There you go. It's the amount of money. They don't have a dope dealer in Angola right now who has stolen a billion dollars. They don't have one. Not one. They got a lot of black dudes in Angola for, for, for drug charges. Right? And moving dope. And none of that shit comes to a billion dollars. But look what white boys do every second. If these white boys were being prosecuted for these crimes, they would need 19 Angolas to house them all. But they're not going to do that because that makes the white race look bad. And there's this old thing called white supremacy, which was really in it for the protecting of the brand. 
See, the brand of what it means to be white must be protected at all times, which means that you can't have anything that tarnishes or diminishes the brand. So they're not going to prosecute this just like they don't arrest white people on the record that they, they arrest everyone else because it goes against the narrative that they are the civilized ones. It goes against the narrative that they're the safe people to be around. Meanwhile, you move around them. And I told you the person who broke into my car, car dealership and stole our checkbook was a white girl. Bitch wouldn't even prosecute it. They didn't. They, they damn near, they dropped that shit down to a misdemeanor. Stole my checkbook. Wrote out, wrote out like 12 checks at four and in between $400 and $900. Witness stupid ass cash, cashed all of them. I said, I don't know who the fuck told you to cash those because you can obviously see my black ass don't look like her. Just cash them. That ain't my hand right now, my signature. Go take your ass down there to the, the, the Texaco in Mandeville, right, where she cashed all those checks, didn't even show no stomach in the shit. Wouldn't it didn't show no interest in it. Because there, I told you guys, this police shit was never created to police them. This shit was created to police us. And few things, few things highlight that more. Few things make that more evident. Look at this. Now, I've been dealing with hackers forever. So, yeah, yeah, this shit is sensitive to me because I shouldn't have to take time out my day to go into their slimy ass world to figure out what they do and how they do it. Right. In order to stop them. But that's what I have to do. I have to stop trading. I have to stop making indicators. I have to stop building trading strategies to go research into their slimy ass criminal ass world, the criminal ass world of white boys. I have to go into their criminal ass world and figure out what is this shit that they're doing and how they're doing it. Because I got to do it because the cops are showing no interest in doing it. There's nobody investigating this shit right now. Think about this, guys. 70% of them are white and nobody's investigating it. Zero. So we asked, what, what does this have to do with me, TJ? You get a direct deposit? You got cash out? Huh? You got a cell phone? You use Bluetooth? Huh? You have electronics at your house connected by Bluetooth? You have underage children with tablets? All of that shit. White boys are targeting all of that shit. And nobody is saying anything. Nobody don't even give a fuck. You know why? This is America.